Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to make this pendulum animation and once again I'll be using groups which are very useful for animations where we need to work with, with the copy's position in ways we couldn't do by just using the shapes on their own. So on this very two sample we have our typical setup with a point duplicator and just using the shape. And you could try changing the position on the duplicator, on the shape position, or on the shape itself, but since we're using that as the object that we're instancing, nothing will happen. So what we need to do is we need to create a group, and instead use that group as the object we're making copies of. So what I'm gonna do right now is go to the duplicator and remove the shape from the input shapes, and instead connect the group there. Then we have to keep the visibility of every object that is the child of the object we are making copies and the parent object is the one that needs to be turned off so we won't see it. If I change the object pivot point now we're gonna see it's moving and we know we're on the right track so we're gonna add a behavior this time we're adding a stayer behavior to the x-axis and as we increase it we can see it's doing exactly what we want it to do and once again we need to change the rotation and as always this has to be done on the object itself because it's the only place where we're gonna see it has some effect and so once we know we have to to affect that property, we add a behavior. In my case, I'm gonna add a, an oscillator because I don't want to add keyframes. I want it to keep moving on and on infinitely. And now we need to come back to the duplicator because that object is the object that manage the copies. So we have this property called shape time offset. And if we move it, we know we have we have done something that is working and all we need to do now is add another stager behavior and we're done with the most complicated part of this video but I'm gonna keep going because we can't leave this as it is right now and I'm gonna move the duplicator a little bit up so we can see all the objects and I'm gonna add a color palette as well and I like to turn off auto index and add a random behavior so we have a little bit more of variation and yeah this is it hope you like this video and see you next time bye